Quilters will tell you a quilt tells a story, whether it's from the fabric used, the pattern sewn, or the people or person who made it. Each one has some type of background. At one elementary school, it was a story that helped to start a quilt. And it's a great example of what's right with our schools. Okay, and push the button. This isn't something you would normally see happening at an elementary school. Good, 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 good. But at East Lawn Elementary in Burlington, it's an activity that immediately caught these fourth and fifth grade students' attention. That's perfect. Yeah, you're doing. And had them wanting more. Teaching students to sew was the idea of media specialist Dana Hopper. It started with this book, Oma's Quilt. And when I read it, it's about a little girl whose grandmother goes to the retirement facility and she decides to sew a quilt together to piece together some of the beautiful memories of like her first recital, the baby's blanket when she was first brought home. And I thought I really wanted a hands-on experience and bring this story to life. So she approached the quilting club at Twin Lakes Retirement Community for help. Resident Betty Gove says quilting is their passion and they were excited to share it with the kids. They were wonderful, they were curious, they were happy, they were excited, and they were, they were, it was just a wonderful experience for us and the joy that they gave us in their joy. <laughs> A lot of the students mentioned this was their very first time they were when we were filming. They were like, I'm, I'm nervous. I, I've never been around a sewing machine before. So it was nice to give them that experience. And once they got started, the students saw just how much fun sewing is. I thought sewing was going to be really hard, but when I learned how to do it, it became easy for me. So you can use this edge right here too. I thought it was really fun. It was also fun to do with my friends and it was really creative of how bringing a book to life and doing an actual project of a quilt. The volunteers know this will come in handy in the students' future. It's something that you, ha you can use throughout your lifetime and with, you can be creative with it. You can be just basic and uh, learn how to sew on a button. It, it's so wide and big that it covers a lot of territory. The fourth graders decorated and sewed hanging hearts. They took a field trip to another senior center to give them to the residents there. The fifth graders made another special gift. They were given a piece of fabric that they were able to decorate and then the residents helped them to sew another coordinating piece that they got to select through the sewing machine. And this will be made into a classroom quilt that will then be gifted to their classroom teachers at the end of the year for graduation. A true story quilt that can be treasured for years to come. I hope so. I hope it's going to be a special memory for each of them. That's so cool. Ms. Hopper said the experience also taught students empathy and respect for older people. She said they were able to connect over the sewing lessons, but it also might help them to connect with elders over something else in the future.